On day 10, the final individual archery medals of the Rio Paralympics were on offer. They came in the women's W1 category and contesting the bronze medal match were Kim ok of South Korea and Great Britain's Vicky Jenkins, who had spent the previous three days in hospital and had looked unlikely to be able to compete. Both archers were taking part in their first Paralympics and it was Jenkins who adapted quickest to the unique pressures of a medal match, building up a four-point lead after the first nine arrows. Kim Lowe stayed in contention with a 26 in the fourth end to keep the difference at four points heading into the fifth and final end. At this stage, Jenkins, with the bronze almost in her possession, started to show signs of nerves and could only post a score of 21, but Kim couldn't capitalise, with her total of 24, leaving the South Korean agonisingly short. Great Britain's Vicky Jenkins claimed the bronze, her first ever Paralympic medal. And the final was an all-British clash with World Championship silver medalist Jo Frith up against her teammate Jessica Stretton, who found herself going for Paralympic gold at the age of just 16. So great British archers were guaranteed to occupy all three places on the podium, but who would be on the top step, Frith or Stretton? Stretton, who had set a new Paralympic record of 141 in her semi-final, took that form into this match, and after the first six arrows had established a four-point lead with two scores of 27. Frith had to make an impact in the third end and did so, matching her opponent's score to keep the deficit at four. With six arrows remaining, Stretton raised her game once again, producing a score of 28 in the fourth end, which saw her nine points clear heading into the final end. And the 16-year-old maintained the high standard she'd set with another 28, giving her the win by a wide margin. So Jessica Stretton took gold, a remarkable achievement from the youngest archer at Rio 2016. And it was gold, silver and bronze for Great Britain.